Welcome to Worship Once More. I hope that you have found some joy and hope and peace in these last days over Christmas. I hope also that you've been able to share with family and friends those that you love, if not in your own homes, perhaps over the telephone or perhaps video calling. I know that I have with my grandchildren and uh, always a love to do that. We love worshipping together and thank you for joining us today. We're going to hear something of the Christmas story again and we're going to have some carols, some new ones as well as some old ones and just enjoy being together. <laughs> to the world, joy in our hearts, joy in our homes. Let the joy of God be known among us. For your love revealed in your manger birth, we join with the shepherds to glorify and praise you. Through him who came to live among us, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us share in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for trespassing, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Even when we're isolated. When we are grieving. When we're struggling. When we have hit rock bottom. We're never alone. This year has been unbelievable. But we have pulled together. We've worked hard to care for people, to feed people, to help people, to heal people. And we've said loud and clear that people matter more. That injustice is unacceptable. That our community is vital. 
Our buildings have been closed. But we have been at work. God's love is uncontainable. In times of despair. And in times of hope. You are loved. This Christmas and always, whoever you are. And whatever you have been through this year. God is with you. God is with me. God is with us. 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 God is with us.
Christmas story. Twas the very first Christmas when all through the hills the towns of Judea were perfectly still. A sheep were all grazing with only one care, hoping the wolves would never be there. Judeans were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sweet figs danced in our heads. He lay in the grass with this crook in his lap. We settled our brains for a quick little nap, alone with those sheep. Night after night, sometimes I just couldn't see any light. A shepherd is not what I thought I would be. I just couldn't see any future for me. This is the story of that special night. A young shepherd. When over the meadow there rose such a clatter I sprang from the grass to see what was the matter Next thing I knew I saw a bright flash I bolted from there in a hundred yard dash When what to my wondering I should appear An angel said there is nothing to fear Sleep in the In his dusty attire I looked at my lambs They weren't lively or quick Our hooves were too tiny Our wool was too thick I held up my crook This was it a game I whistled and shouted And called them by name Now sheep one, now sheep two Now sheep three and four Don't move from this hill Or I'm gonna Find this baby somehow I'll dash away, dash away, dash away now He waved to his flock Off to B-Town we hiked Seeing that angel You knew we were psyched Six miles of walking to reach Bethlehem I wondered just how I would ever find them Then? In a stable beneath a thatched roof They heard a light clacking My old donkey's hoof As I peered inside What did I see? A mother and child A dad smiled at me I knew in a moment This child was the one The life in the room Was as bright as the sun How they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. 
the beard on my Joseph. A little too hairy. And Mary, dear Mary, she looked up and smiled. Life has no moment as the birth of a child. Two things I must say took me by surprise. The quiet in the room, the joy in their eyes. I felt on that morning a vision so wild. The love that both of us had for our child. Faith gave us hope of what one child could bring. The song in that child no choir could sing. How blessed are we all that one child was born. How blessed are we all this great Christmas morning. Imagine the good one child could do If you've witnessed a birth, you felt it too Today we give thanks to the wonder of life To the heart of a husband and will of a wife precious word to the voice of a child that needs to be heard to the hope that one child just one child can bring to the melody nature continues to sing he spoke not a word but went straight on his way to share the great news he saw on that day I walked back that night, stared up at the stars, and thought about how truly blessed we all are. Here I found on my knees the wonder of life, a young shepherd boy followed a light to the hope of a child. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good this year as we think of that story. I wonder if any of you have felt a bit like he did that night. Perhaps you felt lonely. Perhaps you felt isolated. Perhaps it's felt a bit like you couldn't see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Perhaps you're anxious about what the future might hold. That night was a special night for the shepherd. That night, hope and love was born into the world. And the angel brought him news of great joy. We need some news of great joy. We need to hear that message this year more than any other year. News of great joy. So the shepherd went to seek out this baby that had been born, calling his sheep together before he went in that film, calling them by name. I think Jesus, the good shepherd, 
knows the name of every one of his sheep too. And so the shepherd went, rushed off to find the baby. And when he found him, he found the light of the world, the light of hope. Faith gives us hope in that child born that night. Faith gives us hope of what might be, hope of a child, wonder of a life. A hope that you can find that hope in Jesus. So I pray for that sense of great joy to come to you. For you to feel that hope that Jesus brings. The light to brighten the darkness. His peace to ease your anxiety, his love to enfold you, his compassion to comfort you, joy and comfort. The tidings of comfort and joy. Jesus wasn't born in a palace or an eternity hospital for that matter. He was born in the mess of the stable and he still comes into the mess of our world. May you know him with you in this mess, in this time, in your homes, in your hearts, in your communities. And may you know his love and his peace. Amen. Our prayers of intercession. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for the hope you have given us in Christ, the meaning and purpose, joy and fulfilment you bring to us through him. Hear our prayer for those who find it hard to hope those for whom life is hard, especially through this global coronavirus pandemic. Reach out to them in their need and may the light of Christ break into their darkness. We think of those struggling to feed themselves and their families, both at home and abroad. For those who feel overwhelmed by life, lonely, frightened, weary, those who mourn the loss of loved ones. We pray for the sick and suffering, for those caught up in war and conflict, deprived of dignity in the desperate struggle for survival. Reach out to them in their need and may the light of Christ break into their darkness. Loving God, we pray for the world. May your light reach into the darkest places to bring hope rather than despair, joy rather than sorrow, love rather than hatred, and peace rather than conflict. We pray too for ourselves. You know each of our individual needs and prayers. We pray for our ministers, local preachers and leaders of worship, all of whom encourage our faith as we journey through this Advent season. God of love and hope, of encouragement and challenge, help us to respond wholeheartedly to your transforming love. Give us courage to walk forward in your way and to renew our commitment to learn and to care, to support and to nurture, to welcome, to encourage and to be true witnesses of your love. Amen.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed worshipping with us again today. I hope you know that joy that came into the world at Christmas and we will be filled with that hope, uh, comfort and joy. Thank you to all those who've contributed to this service today. And thank you for being with us. And now may we go and know that God's blessing goes with us.